Psychological horror game by David Szymanski. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fingerbones is intended to be completed in a single sitting, and therefore there's no save function. Suggests that you sit by a half hour to complete it. Exit is the door you started at. WASD the move. And left mouse button to interact. Just escape. I to invert the mouse, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's exit. It's got like an opera kind of theme in the background here.
touched him with something more. He said he used his daughter's pain as a motive. He said his daughter's pain. We shall see. Touch your freaking daughter, I swear to God, if that's what happened. Is that a key? That's rich. I swear to God, if you touched your daughter, 
that's nasty, first off, and that's like child abuse. But then again, you have morality issues. You can't open that. Oh, there's an open Let me just check. Oh, not a wrench. Okay, no. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. What? N N Y. of our collective primordial imagination? No! That's called living! It's called making the most out of your life. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. Oh, you are just stuffy and annoying, actually. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. What, are you gonna kill yourself? Hello? Nobody's here. I don't know who I'm playing as. Oh, there's a button. What does the button do? right in my ear.
more blood. What are those? Is that hair? The cellar is freedom. Well, I tried opening the cellar. It doesn't work. Or wait, is that the password? Freedom. What are these? That's kind of strange. And there's blood. Maybe he ripped her hair out? What? very dark and that is quite a hallway. There's blood. There's only enough food for one so she's going to die anyway and I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. You are a jerk sir. I'm sorry. Well it's not a long hallway. There is lots of blood. What did he do? He could have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers. My anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. Dude, you are a psychopath. You... That wasn't... That was her fingers. You are a psychopath! You just threw her body in the woods? That's your daughter! I'm content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. You murdered your daughter! And you threw her body in the woods and you stole her damn fingers! I guess that's why it's called what it is. Freaking finger bones! Oh my lord. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years. Starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. What a psychopath. Oh my lord. <laughs> 